Hey everybody, this is Rodney Watson, Politics205.com. Uh, I want to ask y'all if you will to ignore the little old dog barking in the background. My wife is uh, watching a dog for some people. Um, this is the Huey Towns uh, situation I wanted to show you. Uh, it's the demographics and, and house house values. I want to compare Huey Town to Vestavia Hills. All right, let's go over here to Huey Town, Alabama. We was talking about taxes. Increasing property values instead of incomes, as I said. You know, I said you increase incomes and you will increase property values. Well, let's look at this. Hueytown, you can see that's Hueytown, Alabama. Population is 15,000. Median age 39.4. Median household income is 41,141. It says prop, poverty rate is 15.7%. I talked about the high poverty rate. Number of employees, 6,000. It says the median property value is $112,600. So the average, the median household income is 41000 The median property value is 112000 Come over here to Vestavia. Look at the poverty rate. It dropped to 4.86%. Huey Towns was 15.7%. Vestavia has all the amenities, okay? You look at the average age is 39.7. Median age in Hugetown is 39.4. Look at the median household income is 93,178. The median property value is 346,600. That median household income reduces the poverty rate well below the national average of 12%. Huey Towns is 15% according to this. My figure says it's over 20%, what I figured yesterday. But this right here, poverty rate in Vestavia is 4.8%. The biggest difference, it's not the age of the people. Now, they have twice the population. I want you to think about that. They have twice the population. They have 34,000. Houghton has 15. They have over twice the population. They have over twice the income. That's why they have the amenities. They have the poverty rate well below the minimum. The uh, the poverty rate the poverty rate is well below the national average, and home prices are uh, well above Huey Towns. It's about incomes. Of course, Vestavia can pay a little higher property tax when they're making that kind of money, and they can have a few more amenities when they have the population. If you try to raise taxes in Huey Town, Alabama, without raising incomes, that's just like reducing income. That's just like giving a pay cut to these to the citizens of Hueytown and you will lower property values. You want to increase property values in Hueytown, increase the incomes. You want to lower them, decrease them. Increasing property taxes in Hueytown will have the same effect as decreasing incomes. It does the same thing in Vestavia too, but they have the income to absorb it. When you're not making about forty-one thousand dollars a year, you're not but about six or seven thousand dollars above the poverty rate for a family, and that's household income. If that's the family on that, they, they're not but about six or seven, uh, maybe maybe ten thousand dollars above the poverty rate, uh, which is only two hundred dollars a week. These people are well above the poverty rate. Uh, they can afford a little bit more in taxes if if they want to pay it. You know, but you can see the, the numbers. Raise the raise the property the raise the property taxes in Hueytown will be just like giving a pay cut to those citizens, and you will lower the property values, and a lot of people will leave. Thank you.